One, two, two. three. Oh, How's your butt? I'm good. Just try not to land too close. Woo! Oh, almost <laughs> at it. Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> Don't worry, I got it on film. Cool, look, 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 Hello YouTube and YouTube viewers, it is Cody Williams again, and we're doing a video, Mr. Boma style, relaxed on the couch, plus Raja, because he was lonely. Alright, so we're going to make you guys a really cool mini gun. Um, I make this differently a lot. Uh, the one I'm show you today is going to take two grade 260 for the rotating barrels, it won't really rotate, and two blue 260s for the handle and a scrap of red for the little red button because you can never resist pressing it. The little red button. All right, so we're gonna need, you can stay if you want for this, Raja, but I don't know if you're gonna wanna. You're gonna blow up the two gray 260 almost all of the way, leaving about an inch of a tail or less. So what we're going to do is you're going to make, <clears throat> sorry, I get repositioned. The reason I'm sitting down is I'm still recovering from surgery on my knee, so I'm being extra lazy. Raja enjoys it, I'm home more. All right, so sorry for the relaxed sitting down tutorial. But anyway, so we're going to do a tulip twist on each side of the balloon. So on this side of the knot, it's pretty normal. We should all know how to do this. Now on the other side, since it's a little bit tougher because it's just a tail, t grab it and twist it a little bit and it's going to create more kind of mass to grab onto. Push it in. And oh, Roger, you're so fat. Ugh. And twist it. Matter of fact, he's so fat, I found out yesterday at the vet, he's 20 pounds. That's a big kitty. All right. He had his rabies shots again. It's been a few years. All right, now. Another two of us. Do the same thing. Oopsies. Twisting and sitting down is not my specialty. Same thing on this side. You grab the tail, you twist it around a few times, then push it in. Makes it easier to grab onto and do a two-way twist. So, the goal of this is to have all four end barrels at two balloons, like so. Find where the V at, come down, and twist in the middle. Sometimes it's not perfect. For example, one of mine is way too long right now. But for learning purposes, that's okay. So, try me as even as you can. He's way off, but that's okay. So, set that aside. Blow up a blue 260. If I forgot to mention, two gray 260s and two blue 260s and red 260. I might have mentioned it. I can't remember. It's midnight. I'm tired. All right. So we shall make an ear twist. Like so. Attach. Time to take antibiotics. Later! Alright. So, now we're gonna come in about about a hang loose amount. Just come in where you feel like you want this to connect. So this is actually gonna go as a loop twist around the gun. So come in, I guess you're gonna measure it about, about eight fingers. Make an ear twist. And now this part can get a little confusing, but you're going to. Hold these four down while you wrap the blue around. Like I said, it can be confusing. Like so. 
Now, I forgot what to do from here. Oh, that's right. Come up about two or three fingers and make a bubble. Then make an ear twist. Bring this down so this goes straight up. So, as if this was eight fingers, it should also be eight fingers. So that it's parallel with this twist here. Do an ear twist. I am way too relaxed. I'm not good at doing balloons relaxing. Now, you want this to connect to this bubble while remaining flat. So, however long that's going to be, connect that. This excess can really just hang out. You do not need to edit it off. I leave it on all the time. Just because it's, it's a gun, pieces hang off, it's not a big deal. Cool. Now, from here, kind of have like a four barrel shotgun. I'm sure some game has it. Um, we're gonna need another blue 260 and a red 260. We don't need much, because I'm actually just using a small section of this. And this one you're going to blow up. Um, up three or four fingers at the tail. Kind of long. Do a marriage twist with the red and the blue, setting the red inside of the blue. And you want to do this pretty deep. <clears throat> so. Going about knuckle feet and feet. This is going to be a handle button thing. Edit it down. You twist it. Make another ear twist on the bottom. Just randomly, like so. This is going to be a red button for firing. Come in about two fingers, to twist off the section. Connect that to this ear twist on top. Now, you can add a second ear twist right here if you want to for stability. Um, you don't really need to, but sometimes I do if I just get frustrated and it won't stay in the right spot. Um, but you don't need it. And we should make a loop twist big enough for the arm to go through. Or wrist, I should say. Bring this back. Connect it. Now with the rest of this, I make a small bubble at the end so I can attach. And I make a final large loop twist. And if I can, I like to make it a little bit bigger than the one in the front since it's going to go higher up the arm. Okay. So what you do, is for wearing the minigun, you slide your arm through, next arm through, grab the little red button, get to where you like comfortably on you, and you have the wearable minigun that I made up last Halloween because my friend was Tank Girl and she needed a gun. Yeah, I like that. So uh, if you feel free, please improve my design since this is kind of a prototype. I think this is the second time ever, or third time I've really made it. So anyway, I took the request. So I had one that I made before. Anyways, if you have any requests for you guys today, just let me know. Or, not today, if you have any requests. I'm tired, sorry. Curse of antibiotics, they make you drowsy. So, you guys have a great day today, a better tomorrow. Bless you guys, have fun, and I will get back to filming more when I'm more up and walking around and more active. See you later, guys. Thanks.